everyone, I'm Nina and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to draw realistic hair, like this. But before introducing you all the tools I'm going to use, I want to say that it's totally fine if you're going to use only one pencil, because you'll still be able to learn the technique and to improve your skills. So I'm taking an H and 3B pencils, a black charcoal oil pencil, a brush and an eraser. Basically I'm taking a hard, a soft and the darkest pencils. I'm using this reference picture, you can find it on my Instagram if you want to. I'm drawing the outline of the hairs and some individual locks now. And while I'm doing that, it's time to say the first important thing, you need to be extremely patient here. Have you ever wondered how many hairs there are on your head? The answer is between 80,000 and 120,000. It doesn't sound very encouraging, especially if you're a beginner or if you're going for a realism. But the good news is that you actually don't have to spend a lot of hours drawing it and the key is sharp pencils and steady strokes following the direction of the hairs. When I'm done with the outlines, I'm splitting the hair into sections and I'm going to draw one section at a time. As you can see, I started drawing from the top left and it's because I'm a righty and by doing this way, I won't smear the pencil with my palm. Using a sharp edge pencil, I'm following the hair direction. And the hair direction is actually following the round shape of the head, so my strokes are not straight, they're actually curved. I must say that drawing hair used to be my worst nightmare. I was struggling a lot with that. It used to take me more time than drawing the entire face. And it took me a long time to learn and realize some things I'm going to share with you right now. So I'm hoping you will support me and this video with a like and the channel with a subscription. I'm pressing harder on the pencil where the darkest areas will be and I'm already making some highlights by drawing only a few strokes there. It's because sometimes it's easier to leave it rather than trying to erase the pencil later. I am using a reference picture, so it's not hard to see how to shade the locks or where to pull out some highlights, so look carefully at your reference picture and I'm sure you won't have any problems with shading. So now I'm taking a brush and blending everything out. After that, I'm taking an H pencil one more time, adding some strokes and blending everything out one more time. The next thing is to take a softer pencil, 3B for example, and to do pretty much the same. 
Don't use back and forward motions, do it in motions of lines. As I already said, I'm leaving certain areas for the highlights and making the darkest areas more visible and again, I'm blending everything out with a brush. As you can see, I'm slowly graduating between the shadows and the highlights. I really love using this brush in my work because it gives such soft, graduated looks. Focusing on each strand at a time instead of drawing the hairs randomly and slowly moving from one section to another. As I already mentioned, it's super important to sharpen your pencils to keep them sharpened all the time because otherwise your strokes will be blurry and it doesn't look so nice. I'm looking at the reference picture all the time to see uh, where to shade or where to pull out the highlights. So once I blended everything out, you can see that we lost some lines and even color in some places. So I'm taking a 3B pencil again to add some texture and after that a black pencil to add even more texture and details and shadows. A lot of depth can come out by using a black pencil, what will make your drawing look a lot more realistic, so don't be afraid of the blackness and I highly recommend you to get yourself a similar one. The eraser I'm using to pull out the highlights is shaped as a pencil, which I think is extremely comfy and it's really easy to pull out some highlights using this pencil. The final thing that I want to say is that hair is such a 
large mask to draw and as I said in the beginning of this video you have to be really patient you don't have to draw all of it in one go this is why I'm drawing it by sections otherwise it can get really overwhelming and the quality of your work might drop big time I don't want the drawing to look too structured, so I try to smooth out all the transitions and afterwards I'm still adding some hairs where it's needed. The last step is to add some unique and messy hairs that all of us have. It will make the drawing more alive and realistic. And as the very last thing, I'm taking a black pencil and adding some shadows for, for the realism. This is the end of my tutorial, thank you for watching, comment what you think about it and don't forget to share your art on Instagram and tag me so I could see it too. See you soon guys, bye!